Hey there guys, welcome to my walkthrough playlist of the OCR MEI 2018 new A-level maths paper 2 which is uh, pure mathematics and statistics. As always, I'm doing every question in its own video. You can get to the playlist down below. I'll link the website down there as well so you can get the paper. Um, also down there will be paper 1 and paper 3. If you're finding these useful, please give us a thumbs up, get subscribed, be awesome. Okay, let's go. Okay, number 16, we have modelling. So, in the first year of the course, an A-level student, Asher, has a mathematics test each week. The night before each test, she revises for T hours. Over the course of the year, she realises that her percentage mark for a test P may be modelled by the following formula where A, B and Z are constants. So P is A minus B lots of T minus C squared. So stop there. Uh, this model is a quadratic. Uh, it's an unhappy quadratic because if we expanded everything out we would get a negative t squared so it's of that shape uh, so it's in complete square form so bear that in mind uh, Asher finds that however much she revises her maximum mark is achieved when she does two hours revision. This maximum mark is 62. Asha had a mark of 22 when she didn't spend any time revising. Part 1 for three marks, find the values of A, B and C. Okay, so Okay, so P is A minus P lots of T minus C squared. Now, in completed square form, the number on its own here is the maximum. If, if we had a plus and a bracket term, it would be the minimum. But because we're minusing the bracket, it's a maximum. So, we know that, um, well, we know that the maximum, her maximum mark is 62. So, A is 62. Now, we also know that that happens when t is equal to 2. Now, the maximum occurs uh, when the bracket is equal to 0. So, when t minus c is equal to 0. So, we know then, it happens also when t is equal to 2. So, 2 minus c is equal to 0. Therefore, c is equal to 2. So, now we know p is equal to 62 minus b times t minus 2 squared. Now to find b, we use the other bit of info. So we also know Asha had a mark of 22 when she spent no time revising. So, 
one t is equal to zero, p is equal to twenty two. So substitute those numbers in and we get twenty two is equal to sixty two minus b times minus two squared. So that gives us twenty two is equal to sixty two uh, minus four b. So take the sixty two we get minus forty is equal to minus four b therefore b is ten. So our model is p is sixty two minus ten lots of t minus two all squared. Cool. Okay, part two, two marks. According to the model, if Asha revises for 45 minutes on the night before a test, what mark will she achieve? Okay, so, that is just a substitution. So, 45 minutes is three quarters of an hour. So we're substituting in t equals 0 0.75 that should lead us to a value p is 46.375 but can't get decimal marks so p will be 46 cool Okay, part three. What is the maximum amount of time Asha could have spent revising for the model to still work? Okay, so we know that there is a maximum percentage she can get, which is 62. The minimum she could get is zero. So we know the maximum happens when she spends two hours revising. So what's going to happen if she does any more revision? She's, think about it in terms of real life, she's going to exhaust her brain and tire herself out, get a lower mark in the test. So what we need to do is find the value of t such that the model is equal to zero. So we're going to set 62 minus 10 t minus 2 squared equal to 0. Now that gives us 62 is equal to 10 lots of t minus 2 squared and divide by 10 we get 6.2 is equal to t minus 2 squared Square root, square root, 6.2 is equal to t minus 2, add 2, 2 add root, 6.2 is equal to t. So, smash that in your calculator and we get t is 4.48 hours or that's 4 hours, when we multiply 4.48 by 60, we would get 4 hours, oh sorry, multiply 0 0.48 by 60 to get the number of minutes, so it's going to be 4 hours, 29 minutes, cool. Okay, next up, um, in an attempt to improve her marks, Asha now works through uh, problems for a total of t hours over the three nights before the test. After taking a number of tests, she proposes the following new formula for p. So p is 22 add 
68 times 1 minus e to the minus 0.8 t. Uh, for the next three tests, she recorded the data in figure 16. Part 4 wants us to verify that the data is consistent with the new formula. Okay, so all that we need to do is get rid of the old model and check values for this new model. So, when t is equal to 1, p is equal to uh, 22, <laughs> add 68 times 1 minus e to the minus 0 0.8. Now that gives us um, 59.4. Now the mark that we wanted was 59. So that is approximately 59. So that's good. When t is equal to 3, you should get p is uh, 83.8. Now that is very close to 84. So that's good. And when t is 5, p is 88.8, uh, which is very close to 89. So the data fits well uh, with the model. Cool. Okay, then part five, two marks. Uh, Asher's tutor advises her to spend a minimum of 12 hours working through problems in the future. Determine whether this is good advice. Okay, so let's see what we get when t is 12. So, when t is 12, P is uh, 22 and 68 lots of 1 minus E to the minus 9.6. Now that's going to give us P is equal to um, 2 seconds. 83.8. So, P is approximately equal to 90. So, that is not a vast difference from the mark she gets from spending 5 hours revising. So, P is 89 when t is equal to 5. So, this is not good advice. Because it's not vastly improving her grade by spending a much longer amount of time 
realizing. Cool.